What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Christmas Eve, right? I think that's what video we're on. I think it's Christmas Eve. Anyway, in case I miss you for Christmas, Merry Christmas. Regardless of whether it's Christmas Eve or not, Merry Christmas to you and your family. I hope you all have a blessed holiday season. We're gonna jump into this with Copart, man. Yeah, let's do it. Copart walk around, number one on my list. I think there's a Jeep somewhere around here. Let's go find it. I found it. It's a Rubicon. Oh yeah, it makes me miss my Jeep. It really does. It makes me miss my Jeep, man. I really did enjoy that thing, except for it was like, it was like driving a brick on the interstate, man. It, it was bad. I don't know why this is here. I don't know. It's got a smashed, win a smashed, sh sh smashed windshield. Bitty, bitty, bitty. <laughs> That's all, folks. Smashed windshield. 55,000 miles on the odometer. I wonder what happened to this. Uh, we got a little bit of damage to the fender here. They were nice enough to mark that out for us. You can kind of see it there. Okay. It's a 2013 flat tire. I actually put these wheels on my Jeep. I love those wheels. Very nice wheels. Looks all right back here. Someone did aftermarket LED tail lights. They look pretty good. Nice set of B of Goodrich All Terrains. Got another little bit of damage over here. You can kind of see the warped metal there. I wonder if this is some kind of undercarriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look here. You see, we got the same damage on this side. <laughs> you got the same damage on this side in the same place you have it on the other side. Look at the gap here. What does that tell you? What is that? We've been doing this a while, so I'll, I'll wait a minute. Let you guys, I'll let you guys come back and tell me what you think. This wheel is cockeyed. It's bowed out, and it's out this direction. Uh huh. You figured it out yet? Oh boy, this wheel is is bowing as well. Yep. Yep. She went face down into something, guys. I do believe that's what happened. I believe the frame is going to be bent. The front of the frame is bent up. It's bent up. In fact, just standing here, I don't even know if you guys can see it in the profile, but the front is angled like this. Look at that huge, I mean, that is a, that's a massive gap there, guys. Everything, and that's right here, you know what I mean? Something happened under here. It hit something, went over something, or flew over something and crashed into something else. But there is something going on underneath this. I wonder if we can see it. Probably not. Did they put any writing on it? Maybe? Well, I don't see anything from where I'm sitting. Hell, maybe you do. Definitely something going on under this one. Man, what a shame too. 54,000 miles. That is low miles for a 13, guys. No bags blown though, huh? Okay, that's interesting. She doesn't look too bad. Boy, those doors don't work very well. Real dusty in here. Yeah, something, something crazy happened in this. That's a fact. I'm surprised we don't have any 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 bags blown though. Sway bar, axle lock. Oh, it's a stick shift too? Oh, dude. Yes. Yes. Look, you got your your Rubicon serial number right there. Dana 44 with true lock differentials, electronic disconnect, rock track 4 to 1 low range. She's pretty decent, man, aside from you know, whatever happened to her. I was looking for the hood release. I don't see it. And yes, before you say something, I know that it's got these rubber things. I haven't had a Jeep in a while, man. Let's go ahead and pop those. I guess those are the hood release. Yeah. And then there's a safety latch under here as well. You just... Come on. Where the hell is it? It hasn't been that long since I've had a Jeep. There we go. 3.6, baby. Peppy little motor, man. 
peppy little motor. I bet you could just throw this back on the road again. I mean, you know, after you address whatever is going on with the suspension under here, let's see if we can take a closer look at that. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I think we found something broken, guys. Yeah, take a look at that. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think they would have gone rock crawling with it. This sucker is done. Next on my list, a 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Why? Why is this on my list? Well, as much as I hate to admit it, I actually like the PT Loser. I mean, the PT Cruiser, I always have. And I've liked the Dodge Neon as well. A lot of the unpopular cars from the day, I thought were pretty cool and different, kind of unique looking, and I, I really love them, I do. This is the limited edition, which means, well, it's gotta be top of the line, right? I mean, it's not the turbo. It's not the touring or anything. Ooh. Oh my God, that's, 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 that's something smells real off about that. Anyway, I was wondering what smelled so, um, yeah, I don't even want to tell you what that smells like. It smells like rotting something, something rotting. It, that's, that's, it smells very, very bad over here. But anyway, she's got the chrome wheels, guys. The paint is green. I, I, I can't tell. I have no idea. It says it doesn't run. What do you think? Timing belt? Yep, probably. Most likely a timing belt. It's got the leathers on the interior. Headliner looks good. It is green. It's like a, a, an emerald green. This actually looks pretty damn nice. To be honest with you guys, this is pretty decent. There's that green right there. Nice metallic. Well, it's a little dirty, but it smells a little funky in here too. Not too bad, but it does smell a little funky. Dead as a doornail. Why, well, yes she is, of course. What's the miles on this? I don't see miles. Okay. Well, that's fun. We'll just guess at it. Let's pop the hood. It's a donation. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll bet you anything it's time belt. Bet you, bet you, bet you it's a timing belt. Where is the hood prop? Anybody? Can anybody tell me where the hood prop is for this? Yeah, there it is. I found it. It's over here on the side hiding. Oh, somebody's been into the air box. Well, that's nice. Somebody took this apart and they left a, they left a wrench. They left a, a wrench inside the air box. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's not too bright, but all right. There's your... Somebody disconnected the battery too? Well, I can assure you, she will not crank with no battery, okay? Let's uh, throw a jump on this real quick, see what she does, if anything. Well, she's got boost. Now it's a matter of seeing if she runs. I'm sure it doesn't, guys. I'm sure she doesn't run. 134,000 miles, that's... Just about right for a timing belt to pop, isn't it? Here we go. Wait, it runs. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Are you serious right now? <laughs> it runs. Do you guys see this? It's running. Okay. It, it runs well. Does the important window work? Nope. In fact, I don't think, I don't think any of the windows work, but okay. That's fine. Well, the back windows work. That window is stuck. Yeah, that window does nothing either. Okay. Well, start with some th simple things like 
air conditioning, gears, backwards, forwards. Yep, backwards and forwards with no problems at all. I don't feel I don't feel anything too cold coming out of the uh, AC vents there. What do you think? Does this work? I uh, guess it does. Okay. Sunroof works. I wish we could get uh, the important window working, but I can hear it. Yeah. Same thing with that one over there. You can hear it. It just... It's almost like something is holding it in place there. Power locks appear to work. Got a key fob? We do. We got a little key fob with it. Radio? Yeah, well, makes noise. Now, the last one of these I had, we thought it had a transmission problem, but as it turns out, it wasn't a transmission problem. It was a common issue with these. The problem is, I can't remember what that issue was. It had to do with the computer. I remember that, or a wire, or, or a ground. I, I can't remember. So, these things are notorious for transmission problems. A lot of people think the transmission is bad, but what ends up happening is it's something with this. This computer right here ends up with an issue. I just can't remember if it's the computer module itself that needs to be replaced, or if it's some type of wiring issue. A certain wire has to be grounded. I cannot remember. Well, either way, she doesn't need to jump anymore. She's running on her own. And she's running well, I might add. Not bad. Not bad at all. What do you guys think? I mean, it's listed as a non-runner, and you know what that means. Number one. Okay, it's a PT Cruiser, and although I like the daggum thing, it's not worth anything, guys. This car has, like, no value. Nobody is out looking for a PT Cruiser. So, you know, there's that. There's just no value in it. Um, but it runs so well. The power windows don't work. I don't know. Damn it, she runs good, though. She's just sitting here purring like a kitten. Okay, she's cutting out a little bit, but... <laughs> you, you just had to, right? Uh-oh. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, it's... Okay, you'll see a light come on the dash every time it cuts out. Let me turn off the air conditioning. I don't think it's working anyway. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the dash flashing? And the traction light? So, the battery is extremely dead. You can see the lights flickering there. Yeah, she's having all kinds of problems now. I think this is all from the battery. With that said, the other one that I had, which was a turbo, it did the same thing. The dash lights would all just come on and off and on and off, and then the transmission would go into limp mode, and it turned out being that daggum control module. So it's probably a dead battery, but it could also be that computer. The computer is nothing, guys. I mean, it's dirt cheap. The problem is, though, is like, even if I could win this car for $300, it's going to cost me, what, $500 out the door? Six? Then about $100 to get that computer module? You know, what am I going to sell this thing for? It's not going to sell for nothing, really. So, I don't know. It does run. I'm going to keep my eyes on it, okay? We'll see what it does. If it goes for $100, bucks, i will jump on it all day long for $100. If it goes up to three or so, uh, we can't do that, guys. That's it. Next on my list, a 2012 Fiat 500 Pop, I think is what they call it. Man, my fiance just sent me a video of a fire. Wow. 
right behind my house in that big field. There's a big, uh, big farm back there, man, with cows and horses and stuff. Yeah, it's on fire. It's burning, and uh, it's pretty damn close to my house. So uh, I'm gonna have to, I guess, wrap this up here in just a second. But we're gonna go ahead and look at this before we get out of here for today, guys. It's, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's got these these little tires that are almost they're just they're cute <laughs> oz racing wheels great tread on them little bitty tires man red calipers this thing means business this is an interesting one because it's listed as mechanical damage yep mechanical damage with 140,000 miles on it you know what the damage is the damage is it's 140,000 mile fiat that's the damage like what do you <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> that's what happens that's what happens. Oh, she, she's got juice? What do you think, knocking engine? I don't know, man, we'll find out though, because as weird as this little car is, I'll buy it. I will, I'll buy it. Nobody's bidding on it. Look at that instrument cluster, holy crap. How do you turn the, how do I turn the damn radio down? Uh, I don't, there we go. There you go. Let's turn, let's turn that down before we get ourselves in, in trouble. Here we go. Where is the mechanical damage? What are you talking about, man? It runs great. This thing runs great. It's even got a sport button, man. Look, and when you push it, watch this. Above the mileage. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, now it means business. Now it means business. It is a, a five-speed. Okay, I was hoping it was a six. It's a five-speed. I hear a little squeaking under the hood. It's when you push the clutch in. Uh-oh. Yeah, you push the clutch in and it uh, makes a little noise. She still pulls hard, though. I mean, you could see the thing squat when I hit the uh, pull off the clutch. She tries to die. Let's put it in fifth. Okay. Did that for a reason, guys. If she will stall herself out in fifth gear, the clutch is making a tad bit of noise. Maybe it's a throw up bearing. Hear it? Squeal? That's not that big a deal, guys. The clutch is strong. Okay, my fiance just messaged me and let me know that she hears sirens and that the smoke is getting worse at the house. I was hoping it was an intentional burn, like a controlled burn. A lot of farmers do that out here. That's pretty common. Usually they don't do that in the winter. They normally do that in the spring uh, before they're planting their crops. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned. I'm very, very concerned. Like I'm, <laughs> if I didn't need the money from these videos, I would leave right now. But like I can't, I can't just leave and not finish my video. For those wondering, for the believe it or not, this is a job. I know, I know a lot of people disagree, but this is a job, and, and I actually do this for money. I do. I enjoy it, but I also do it for money. Um, not to worry, they've got a car. They can get out of there if it comes down to that. I hear the air conditioning working. Batteries from 7 of 18. She seems to run well. The clutch seems good. I, the brakes feel good. Okay, so what's the mechanical damage? I have no idea why I want this car, but I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and bid on this one. I do, I think I'm gonna bid on it. Probably won't win it, since it's listed as mechanical damage. Uh, I doubt this thing's gonna go for much. These things don't go for much anyway. And they just don't, but I would have fun with it. I mean, it's nothing more than a Dodge. You know, it's a really, really, really small Dodge. It's got extremely cold air conditioning. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat up. 
make sure we got we got heat going on here that's important that window work it does the heat is coming to life of course the temperature is still cold it's got half a tank of gas give it a little rev yeah she this is decent guys this is decent uh, for for what it is i i don't know i don't know why i want this i really don't but i do i i actually do want this damn thing it's it comes with both keys too i'm gonna pull it up on the auction site real quick and uh we'll come back and see what it's at all right guys i'm gonna have to get out of here um i went ahead and threw a bid on it for 850 it's sitting at $375. Like I said, because it's listed as mechanical damage, nobody's gonna want this. I don't know what they're considering mechanical damage. I don't know what they think is wrong with it. Um, and the oil looks good. Like, it's a manual transmission, so you don't have too much to worry about from the transmission. We know that it shifts through all the gears just fine. The clutch holds strong. So I'm not overly concerned with the transmission. She's full of coolant. All right, so I'm not worried about a coolant leak or anything like that. The oil is clean, so I don't think we got a head gasket issue. It runs wonderfully. It's got a set of new tires, decent wheels. What, like, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take my chances. I will. I went ahead and threw a bit on this, guys, and I know we usually do this live. Unfortunately, uh, due to time constraints, I, I'm not going to sit here and fiddle with all the editing later. I threw my bit on it. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. But this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Wish me luck because that smoke has got me really, really stressing right now. I'm going to get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a great Christmas holiday. I will see you all very soon in the next one.